give my daughter your concert tickets. Hey, creepy critters and jeepers creepers. So this actually happened many many years ago back when One Direction was still a thing and girls of all ages were going nuts. In one of my earliest posts on Reddit in general I talked about how I met an entitled girl who stole from the locker rooms and her entitled Karen mother afterwards, this takes place a year after that and kind of a full year before the band broke up. I have a cousin, family friend, who's a few years younger than me so when the story was in middle school when this story took place. Now let's set the scene. It was a normal summer, slowly forming autumn, but still hot as balls day in the neighborhood and school area, me and cousin were busy walking to our local 7-Eleven to grab some slushies and some pizza, cause I have a weakness. We hung out there for a bit while we gathered our sugary drinks and headed to the counter when cousin let out the largest gasp I ever heard. They were selling One Direction stickers. This, my friends, is how I became aware of how deep the OD rabbit hole she was. After we got our things and went to our homes, I decided to be a cool older cousin and plea for my mum if we can get cousin some One Direction concert tickets since they were on tour and one such concert was being held at a city a few hours away from where we lived at the time. I don't feel comfortable hinting where I live, but I hope this makes sense. My mum was hesitant at first, but once I mentioned it'll be cousin's b-day soon and how it'll be a gift for me she agreed. I pitched on buying three tickets, one for cousin, her mum, and her sister or friend, by selling a whole lot of lemonade and cupcakes in between our yard sale that month and living right beside a resort made for tourists and rich people we made pretty good bank. So we managed to get some tickets, we told cousin's mum beforehand once we got enough money for our gift idea, and for extra measure, we went to the mall and got some One Direction themed shirts and hats to put in her gift. Guys, I underestimated the scream she gave when she opened her bag. She was over the moon happy. Squealing and squeezing me and my mum tight while crying onto my shirt and I like to think this is where my gift-giving love language finally poked in and became known. Fast forward to the month of the concert, cousin is eagerly packing and planning for the trip as they'll stay in the city for about half a week and leave the day after the concert and going around eagerly talking into people's ears about the whole thing. This is when Entitled Brat steps in. E.B., from what I knew at the time, was a bit of a mean girl in Cousin's middle school. But more so a girl trying to fit that stereotype and not understanding and crying when no one can trust her with secrets or invite her to things. She was the type of girl who would go back and forth being friendly to Cousin then act all wannabe Regina George only to come back again. E.B. obviously took word of Cousin's One Direction trip and was getting rather close to Cousin yet again, going as far as joining in our hangouts. Never thought I'd hate a kid so much at this age, but there I was fuming. Through these hangouts with E.B. is how me and my mum met E.B.'s entitled mother E.M. and she honestly fits a cliché as well, but the ones of those Facebook mums who obsessed over oh you're born under this star sign. You are not allowed to come to my daughter's birthday party while owning a bunch of mugs that talk about how her being a mother made her drink wine and I even remember her telling my mum how her husband is in the army so why can't she get any discounts? During one specific hangout, just a few days before cousin her mum and her sister leave for the concert, me, cousin and E.B. went to the local July 11th and went back to cousin's place to talk. This is when E.M. shined brightly. I walked into the kitchen to talk to the adults where E.M. is busy talking to my mom and cousin's mom about the trip planned and I joined in cause I'm bored. I don't know what triggered it but E.M. suddenly got pissy at cousin's mom and said she shouldn't have allowed cousin to go to the concert cause, quote, don't you know that men in bands like that are just pedophiles? Silence. My mom and I are staring at each other in shock. Apparently not sensing the change of air. E.M. went on and said she and E.B. can just take the tickets off their hands since it'll be just a waste of money if you just threw them out. Cousin's mom's reaction? Ripping E.M. a freshly made asshole and free Taco Bell as she calls her out on that weird logic and kicking her and E.B. out. They went on their trip, enjoyed the concert, and everything was fine. Apparently. 
I guess E.B. and E.M. were repeatedly asking Cousin and her mom about joining them on their trip and either A. they didn't fully get it or B. they simply told them yes, but they have to pay for their own gas and tickets, and if you know concerts tickets are more expensive once you get closer to the actual concert. Me and Cousin still talk today and her obsession slowly morphed to Harry Styles and Taylor Swift and I will hopefully one day go to a concert together of a band we both like.